This is how you purge a system. You fill it up with nitrogen. I just changed the evap coil on this, so I'm pressure testing it with nitrogen. Got my little tube out there. Got the field pieces here. So, uh, you fill it up to 150 PSI just to see if it holds. And if it holds, that's good. And it holds, you leave it there for about a couple minutes. And if it stays at 150 and you don't hear any leaks, you should be good. Um, which in this case it was. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the high side king valve. But before you do that, we're going to open up this suction side and let all the nitrogen out. Nitrogen is in the system, so we're going to let the nitrogen out. Now you're going to... You're going to purge the nitrogen out until you have about 20 PSI up here. See, I, I, I took some out already just by doing that. And uh, so it's dropping down to the 80. So we're going to do that until it drops down to about 20 or 30. Then I'm going to open up that king valve and make sure you're ready. Okay. Go ahead and open that up. <laughs> so around twenty nine on this side and thirty five on this side, that's normal. Open it up a little bit more. Close it a little to bring the pressure back up to 20. See? And now we're that now that we're under 20, I'm gonna open up this valve here. And you're gonna hear it increase in pressure. So open it up quick. You're gonna be able to see the refrigerant come out. Right there. Let it build up pressure. And then I'm going to squeeze it one more time. And this is our 410A, so it's not harmful for the environment. But you don't want to be huffing that shit. Okay, now we continue opening up this valve. This high side king valve. Notice it's the high side, not the low side. High side. Okay, that's open all the way. Now the bottom one takes a, a wrench. So we're going to go on a tool bag here, find a wrench. And then you're just going to open that up. But you gotta you want to make sure that this is about 250 on both sides so it's getting there it's around there so if you're like a hundred on both sides and it's 14a that means you're low on the refrigerant but to properly find that out you have to run the system and uh, <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Under 150, like 140 to 150 is 410A pressure. Uh, R22, I'm sorry, R22. And then 250 on both sides is 410A. So we just opened up the king valve there. And now, make sure both lines are closed, closed before you do anything. Make sure it's nice and tight on there. Now you want to hook up 410A if you're a little low. Hook up some 410A, purge it out of this line here. So, and then before you hook up your 410A, make sure you purge the nitrogen out of here too. See, there was nitrogen in there. So take that out. You can do the same with the red until you see liquid come out. Sometimes it'll be just straight vapor. You won't be able to tell, but. 
it'll spit just a little so we're looking good here um, so now we're gonna go turn on the disconnect box and this is on a 2012 XR 60 amp on the air handler is turned off so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on real quick I'll be right back and the XR15 from train is live fan is spinning Let's take a look at our pressures here 123 over 312 not bad probably have to add some and then from here you find your sub cooling and make sure your super heat they get down and go or go up to where they need to be this system calls for 8 or 11 sub cooling I don't remember but one of those two Put the clamp on there. Blue side, suction side, red side, liquid line. Uh, liquid line, we're gonna go right here. Boom. There we go. What's it say? 10 sub coolant, 33. Now you gotta run this system, any 410A system, uh, especially the trains. Put the thermostat down about 10 degrees or 11 degrees and then um, I do 11 degrees just to be safe so it calls for cooling at 100% because some of these variable speeds will give you a false reading unless it's at 100% uh, call for cool. Uh, so we'll let this run for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back with the sub cool and the super heat at totally different uh, numbers. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes later. I picked up all my tools, put the nitrogen away. So that's the only thing I got is the drill and the gauges. Uh, 143, 144 over 332. Beautiful pressure. Uh, inside's a little hot in the house. Outside, perfect pressure. Uh, we wanted to be at 8 sub cooling. It's at 9.8, which is great. Over 18.4 could be better. But uh, looks like it's in the range. It was in the high 70s, now it's in the 60s and dropping. So make sure. I, th I think in another five more minutes, that'll be in the 50s. Um, if not, I'll add a little Freon, bring that super heat down. Sub cooling will go up a little bit, but the super heat can go down a little. It looks like it's going down and 50 over 103 is good 68 over 93 it's not bad it's not bad about 30 degrees it's gonna end up being 40 degrees uh, line temperature split now you go inside and make sure you have a 20 20 to 20 20 to 30 split on your airflow coming in and out on the air handler and uh, at least in the 50s no less than 40 degrees 40 to 55 degrees coming out your vents in each room and uh, you should be good so see how it changed it's been fluctuating but now it's stabilized Alright guys, have a good day. I'm going to stay here for another five minutes and adjust this. It looks like we're right where we need to be. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Like, subscribe if you want to see more of this. Uh, comment on any th questions that you have. I'm not, I'm, I've been doing this for ten years, you know, but there's still guys out there that, you know, that know a lot more than what I know, but... Um, just a couple tips and tricks, tips and tricks that I use to be able to find, to be able to purge the system. You know, if, if you're running behind on a couple calls and you want to catch up, you know, if you, if you try and do it and you haven't done it before, 
you know, try to have somebody there to help you out that's done before because I don't want you messing up the equipment just because you watch the YouTube channel. You know? Alright, you guys have a good day.